Hey guys, what's up? It's Nihon Tiger. How you doing? Welcome back to Project Cars. Stay sharp, mate. I'll call the green for you. All Get right, ready. and we are going to be racing the main events race, 12 laps of Laguna Seca, with green, the green, green. first mandatory pit stop of our racing careers. Past that BMW M3 on the outside. Down to the first corner. You have seen this racetrack before. We just raced it. Eight lap sprint race. Oh, where we kind of blew the field away. Maybe we'll do the same thing here. I don't know. We got first place already. So two firsts would be a great start to the championship for us here. So we'll probably do this. Maybe one more race. And that will be an episode today. So... Yeah, if you're watching this, I'm recording this ahead of time, but I'm sure you've seen the spa episode by now, and I hope you've all enjoyed it. We have another episode coming up for Monza on the 5th, and nothing in between because, as I mentioned last time, some scheduling conflicts, and I forgot to mention this as well. I'm going to be at PAX Prime, or... Yeah, I'm recording this ahead of time, so I will be at PAX Prime this... Uh this weekend, so I won't even have time to sit down and record it, uh, an episode if I wanted to. So if you're going to be at PAX Prime and you see me, it's not hard to find me. I'm the guy in the orange stuff of my, uh, my actual t-shirts that I had made. I'll be wearing those two of the days I'm going to be there, two of the four days I'm going to be there. I'll have my t-shirts on, uh, probably Friday and Saturday, I would guess. Great first lap. Let's try and build up a lead here. But, uh, yeah, not going to be too hard to find me, so keep an eye on my Twitter. I'll be tweeting out where I am in case you want to find me. Uh, but if you're going to be at PAX and you want to meet up, that would be awesome. And I don't know how many people who actually watch my my Project Car stuff are you know, the same people who watch my Minecraft stuff. I think I might have different audiences for that, but that's okay. P2 is five seconds behind. Let's go. keep him there. So we just need to get a big enough gap for Roman Pitt. And this this is a strategy that uh, if you've ever watched professional racing, this is also something that they do uh, when they are about to pit. They usually tell their guys to really push it on their, uh, their last couple laps before their pit stop so they can get a gap over... Box, box, box. Okay, box, box, box. Yep. Lap, your compulsory tire change. All right. So I got a tire change. So there we go. So I gotta come in this lap. That's fine. Post retire change is okay. There we go. So I'm gonna have to pit this lap right here. We'll come into the pit, slow down a little bit. Uh, oh, damn it. So that's our it will last for approximately 52.9 laps. Um, we are okay on that. So we're going to have a 16 lap pit stop. Um, symmetrical setup. Asymmetrical setup. Change tires. We do have to, we do have to, uh, it's a zero second pit stop. We do have to change our tires. So we'll keep everything there. Cancel. 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 Let's cancel that. Okay. Hit current. So I don't want it to... I don't want to fill up at all. Is there any way I can not have the the pit stop Shh. cancel okay so oh it's gonna fill me up again I don't want it to fill me up I don't need this um, at all so I guess I have to oh geez come on um so Okay, that's weird. Um, let's edit the current one, and then we'll just save it. 
Uh, we're going to have to save it temporarily. Save it as stupid GT3 strat. Okay, so. Uh, you saved. Hit current. Oh my goodness, really? It's going to try and refuel me? I don't want it to refuel me. Jeez, oh Pete, this thing wants us to. Okay. It's going to hold me for a whole bunch of seconds. I don't need to be held. And now we're falling all the way back to... There we go. 16, 21st. All right, we're good. So I didn't get refueled. That's fine. That's exactly what I wanted. Manual control, and we're now 21st, but... The good news is we have our tires already warmed, which is excellent. Okay. We didn't slide off the tarmac. That's good. And now all we have to do is wait for the other guys to pit. We'll pass them in the pits. We'll just get some, some fast laps going out here. Did I get a little bit more fuel? I think I got a little bit. Maybe I didn't get more fuel. Um, but that was a slow lap, of course, because of the pit stop. So it was kind of a, a hassle to figure out what we were going to do. But now, at least in the future, I have that stupid GT3 set up, so we don't have to worry about refueling. We'll have enough fuel. I don't know why we came in. I guess we came in early, so we wouldn't have to to deal with the oh, everyone else pitting. I don't know. Cones! The cones have been taken out again. I should really move those cones. They're not really doing a good job if people keep taking them out. So here we go. We're just coming on down here. Coming on down to Awesome Town. And this guy's going to pit, so we'll pass a bunch of people right now who are either in the pits or coming out of the pits. And there we go. We got past that guy. Start catching up to these guys pretty quickly, I think. There we go. A little bit of a turn in there. Not too bad. There we go down here. So I'm seven seconds back of them, but I'm catching them pretty quickly because they're slower. So maybe we can even catch them at the top of the hill. I don't know. Go. I do like that. I recommend at least it tells you, hey, you got to pit this lap. Um, not sure if that's the best strategy to pit that early, but at least I don't have to, you know, fudge it and be like, okay, I want to go in on lap six. And I probably would have gone in on lap six or seven, to be honest. I think that's better to go in halfway through the race to get fresher tires through the uh, entire race, and also a chance to refuel. You need less fuel the later you can pit. Go. And some more guys going in. Pass them and get their positions. There we go. So that's one, uh, two, three, four more positions. Knock us up to 16th place. Setting the fastest laps of the race. Keep it up. Dang right, and we're only like four and a half seconds behind the guy in front of us. We may be able to catch him before we they even have to go into the pits. Which would be great for us, because it would put them at a huge disadvantage coming out of the pits. They still have to complete their stop, however long it's going to be. And we would not. There we go. We might be able to catch... I don't know if I can catch them this lap, but... Anyone who doesn't pit in like the next lap is going to be passed by me, whether they're on pit road or not. These guys are less than two seconds ahead. I'll probably catch them going into the last corner anyways. Go. There we go. Nicely done. A couple other... McLaren's it looks like in front of me. 
braking. He's slower than you in certain sections. Keep pushing and try and take him under braking into the Let's slow corners. See if they pit, yeah, these guys are all okay. These guys aren't going to pit. I'm going to catch them anyways and pass them. They are slower than me. Here we go. Up to P10. And it looks like we'll probably get a couple of positions here. So start off with this fella right here, my teammate. 59. There's another McLaren up here. Number 60, huh? I guess there are two number 60s in the race. Oh, oh, damn it. Should probably not do that, buddy. Also, don't steal my car number. That's not kosher. Here we go. Mercedes Benz up here. AMG. Hello. Goodbye. Oh. Coming off a little bit there. And that was the guy who finished uh, second place in the last race, I think, is right up ahead of us, the Yes Martin. And the other thing is, the six cars ahead of me have not pitted, so they will all have to pit at some point. And I'm pretty sure that's when we will make okay, our... Okay, we've got a warning from the race director really? for cutting the track. Really? You're going to do that. respect the track limits, keep it on the island. You're going to do that to me. You're going to be jerk faces about it. Alright, so we got some guys who are going to be pitting late, it looks like. Including the uh, Aston Martin in front of us. So three more cars, three more spots up to fourth now. And then we'll get this guy and we'll get third. Your pace is slowing. Come on, we're all rooting for you. Let's get back into the race. Push hard. Is that an Aston? No, it's a... I thought it was an Aston for some... This Aston's in the race. It's a, uh, a Porsche. I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention to the rear as much as I should have. Let's see, this guy is only two seconds ahead. How far ahead is the first place guy? Because I don't even see him at this point. That's troubling. Okay, he's just up the road. That's fine, we can catch him. When they both pit, we'll end up passing both of them anyways. And that's going to be some point here. They can't stay out the whole race so they'll get DQ'd as well, I hope. I hope the game isn't cheap enough to uh, to give them the win. There we go. That's an Aston. You're reeling him in. This is great stuff. Line him up and squeeze past. Yeah, there's an Aston right up there. I knew it was some in the race. There we go. And then I think the first place guy's pitting. Yep, he's pitting. And this guy is going to take over P1. We're going to pass him on the outside. There's a bunch of people pitting, yeah. Your pace is dropping off a little bit. Try and refocus and bang in some quick laps. No, we're fine. We're fine. Dive, 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 dive. Got it. Suck it. So we got all the way back out to first place. And now we should just be able to smoke the field because they all have to pit still. And we do not at all have to pit. So we're good. We're good to the finish here. The last four, five laps that we have to do. So round lap eight. So yeah, we have five laps left. Gonna be a long five laps, huh? Here we go. Driving through, driving through. Don't mind me, just driving on through. You're leading by three seconds. Good job. Okay. Keep pushing. We still want that gap. Yes. I like to keep that gap. We also want to stay on the track. It's very important. The sun is setting even more. I should probably at some point here turn my lights on. There we go. Lights are on. Now I can see. There we go. My nose is itching. Yeah. I always thought that's gotta be like the worst thing for a driver. You have an itch on your face and it's really annoying, but you can't scratch it because you have your baklava on and uh, 
you have uh, you have your helmet on, so you can't uh, can't really take all that stuff off in the middle of a race and scratch your nose like I can right now. So that's uh, that's definitely something I would not want to deal with. There you go. So I don't have much more racing to do. Has that, that guy still has not pitted? I guess he's gonna DQ himself by not pitting. You should just you should just pit and you know take the punishment of. Losing however many seconds you're gonna lose, buddy, because you're not gonna catch me with if your tires are shot. You're not gonna catch me. I mean, it's as simple as that. I've got fresher tires than you do. And fuel wise, we're good to go. I mean, we got 40 gallons left. That's why I didn't want to fill up. We started off with more fuel than we needed. Just wanted tires on that stop because we had to take tires apparently. Yeah, this is... Oh, he's going in now. Okay. This is a really fun track to drive on. It's it's a really fun car to drive, too, I should also mention. I'm really liking the uh, the 12C now that I've had some, some time with it. I like the fact that it was showing at the time... Oh, was it, maybe I just misread it as being... 7 seconds instead of uh, 17 seconds as I was going back. Okay, we got a 21 second gap to P2. We could almost make another pit stop. Just to, uh, just to bring the field up a little bit if we wanted to. I mean, that's a huge gap. That's what, that's what pitting early and doing some fast laps while everyone else is slower will, will do for you. Yeah, I don't mind GT3 at all. I think I'm. I think I like this better than I would have liked uh, Formula Rookie, which was my other option I was looking at. Yeah, I really like the how the car handles. I've always liked the the sports cars and the GT racing. I'm gonna do more of that. There we go. Just two more laps around here. We're almost done. Kind of sad that my team has no sponsorship, though. I wonder where they get uh, their funding from. Maybe they're a works team or something. I don't know. I don't have any sponsorship, do I? Nope. No sponsorship. It just says 12C GT3 on the side of my car. I am on the poor team. This is not the best thing for my future. I need some sponsorship money, man. It would be cool. I think that maybe is the one thing that Project Cars is missing. Maybe they can add to Project Cars too. Is it would be great if you could have now Grid had this originally, where you had your own team and you could earn sponsorships and they would pay you based on your performance. I would love to have just to even get that a driver simulation experience, make it more real. I'd love if you could have like personal sponsors and. You know, you would bring them to your team as you change series. Now, the, the downside of that is you have to make uh, you have to make color combinations for every car, and I don't know how feasible that would be. Though you could, you can do it right now in Project Cars with uh, making different custom um, liveries for everything. Yes. Great work, mate. The pace is really Last strong. Lap. No mistakes. We're building a good gap to second. But yeah, that's a lot of work because making that is really, really tough in project cars um, because it's not as it's not like the old days when you used to have the uh, <laughs> like the old Papyrus games where you could make them really easy. The cars would basically just be laid out over different polygons. There's like so many little tiny. Uh, little tiny polygons that go into each and every one of these cars you know every little crease has got to be you know taken care of every little fold has got to be just painted just right so that the paint job matches up and it's it's perhaps more than I can reasonably do without looking crap 
So that's why I haven't made like a bunch of custom skins for my car or custom liveries for my cars. Skins is essentially the same thing, but it's not the, t the correct term. So I should uh, should not use that. But uh, there we go. Last lap of this very long race. Gosh. This is almost going to be an entire episode unto itself, I think. Let's see how long this race was. There we go. It's almost like 15 minutes. Nicely done. Gonna win at Laguna Seca. Complete the series sweep. You've won the race. Fantastic drive. Woohoo! Run away. Uh, won the race. 18 minutes. Yeah, this is going to be its own episode. Oh, I was not expecting that. But there we go. Two bonus points for qualifying with nearly identical times in Q1 and Q2. Well done. 52 points. Up by 16 points over uh, Jens Burger. And we'll go back to the career dashboard. Let's see what we got. See what we got next. What we got next is inbox. Everyone's really happy with us. Yay! Everyone's happy. And our next race is more historic GT5 UK trophy races. We're going to be going to Donington. And then it looks like Silverstone and Alton Park are the last ones. But that is all for now. Uh, my voice is fading a little bit, so I want to save it for the future. And there we go. And then we've got the next the next GT3 race. Is it? Let's see. Where is that? It's the GT3 US Trophy is... Do, 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 do. GT3 US Trophy, not for a while. GT4. Where are you? Okay, so the next one is... It is a Watkins Glen. Okay. And then the last one is, how far away are you, sir? Oh my goodness, how far away is the uh, last one? It's not till July, and that's at Road America, as I thought. So, that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this series so far. I hope you've enjoyed some of the content that we've had. 30 episodes, I believe, we are on now. which is quite a bit halfway to matching our total for grid autosport which we probably will um, but thank you for watching hope you guys have enjoyed everything so far and i will see you soon once again around the track